Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video, I'm going to pick up kind of where I left off. Uh, I have one video talking about Visual Studio Code, how to install extensions and everything. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Linux server code uh, to Visual Studio and you can edit files in here. So if I click on extensions, and I just go or search for SSH development, uh, there's a remote development pack that will install several extensions. It'll do remote SSH, remote containers, remote WSL, uh, and these will help you um, in this. So I just installed this, but I haven't done anything with it yet. So I'm gonna go, there would be an install button here for you if you haven't installed it, so go ahead and install it. And then uh, if I hit Control Shift P and type in SSH, uh, you can see it says remote SSH connect current window to host. So I'm gonna add a new host. So notice the syntax here, we have the SSH command, username at some host, and then hyphen A if you have any flags that you wanna put, like port. So I'll say SSH birch, and which is my username on the server, whoops, and then paste the IP address that I've been using, and then port 215, hit enter, and I'll go ahead and say this one right there. Oh, but I couldn't find it. Okay, let's try another one. So I can also click down here, um, connect to host, add new host, SSH birch and at paste. Okay, and let me try this one right here. Host added. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit connect. It'll open up a new window. And notice this green little tab right here, it's, it's showing opening remote. So I'll blow this up so we can look here. And then up here it says, um, this has a fingerprint, I want to continue. Okay, and then enter password for Birch N. And so I'll go ahead and type in my password there. All right, this thing's still spinning. This is to setting up host. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video for a quick sec. So that's probably about 30 seconds. And now it's showing that I'm connected here. Uh, if I open this up, it'll say connected to SSH, this guy. Um, I can hit open folder um, and yeah, I'll just have it be my home directory. Okay, so I'm gonna hit okay. And then it should just pop up all my code right here. Oh, I have to enter my password again. Like that, and then here's all my stuff. Okay, so here's the 124 demos that I've been doing in class the last couple of days, my class temp. Uh, my 124 folder where I have all my assignments, examples, practice projects, um, you know, and so I can go in here and I can look at a file and I can actually change it. And so if I added like a bunch of exclamation marks right here and hit save, if I open up a putty window, so birch n, my password, cd124, uh, cd assignments, and then uh, cat assignment on zero dot is what I just edited, and you can see there's my change that I just made. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. So I can I can do all my coding in Visual Studio Code, um, and then when I get here, I can say test bed. Um, I think it's CS124 assign one zero. You know, so you'll still have to do all of your testing here. You know, oh, I shouldn't add those exclamation marks. Um, and then your style checker as well, okay? But you can actually make your code changes here. Um, let's actually test that real quick. So if I took those out and then ran testbed again, you can see it passed because I fixed it. And then if I run my style checker, um, you know, I, I don't have anything to worry about here either, okay? So pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. But I hope that this is helpful for you and, and that you'll enjoy developing code this way. If after following my instructions, you still can't connect, try this. So click on the green square down here, hit connect to host. And then in here, uh, click on configure SSH hosts. Uh, you can go ahead and click on your first SSH file. And then in here, uh, alias is just whatever it'll show up as when you want to connect. So for this, I'll just say um, BYUI Linux Lab. And then for my host, I have to click on, I have to s select a host, uh, a valid host for our workspace. So I'm just going to paste this one in here. 
and then my username is birch n you'll have your own username and then also specify which port you're going to connect to okay so I'll go ahead and save that and then I'm going to click here say connect to host oh I recognize these different ones okay so let me edit this file again I'll say uh, BYUI Linux lab and I'll save that escape um, connect to host BYU Linux, Linux Lab. It'll open up a new window. I have to type in my password. And that should help me connect. So sometimes the other way to connect, doing the flag 215 for the port doesn't work. I don't know why, um, but you can see that that I've, I have access to the server now. Uh, to open up this directory over here, I just have to put in my password again. Um, and then all my stuff will pop up. Okay, um, so yeah, like I said, just go into here, connect to host, and then just configure SSH hosts, and you can edit this to look kind of like that. So I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.